Or, for example, like a plant, like the Timbangan, I produce a new tool in order to make tomorrow a new theory. And if you are looking carefully, then you explain why you have such a division of labor within macro. Theoreticians have new paradigms. <coughs> Economists develop models. You see, and, and, you, uh, because for, uh, you are an abuse of the term of theory. Theory is a grand vision. Uh, uh, evolutionist, Keynesian, neo marxian uh, institutionalist, and so on. Models are very applied. Then you have mathematicians working on how to estimate this model. Then you have uh, computer scientists how to develop software, and then you have uh, spin writer, <laughs> spin doctors, <laughs> trying to extract from it for finance the way to present this as an achievement. <laughs> so you understand that <laughs> division of labor will play a major role because you all need these seconds, and each of them is uh, belonging to a sub community, and nobody is in charge of the relevance of the global outcomes of the system. And of course, uh, therefore, oh, let me uh, try to imagine the following thing. Uh, I was very surprised uh, that why uh, politicians or uh, decision makers arrive more frequently economists than socialists. Economists can make forecasting. <laughs> so it is very interesting. And to make forecast, if you say, hmm, I think that GDP of Germany will be so serious. If you have a whole wonderful computer-based model, then it's serious. So what is very interesting, you need techniques in order to say what I say comes from, I try to, uh, to uh, uh, extract from the data. And what is very, very interesting, in, uh, uh, again, this is the central point, 